would give up the good life to clear one's conscience. Edward Snowden is a man who leaked top secret information uh, from the government back in 2013 and had to leave the country. I think everyone can gain from learning about recent events concerning our government. Um, I first heard about Edward Snowden fall quarter when we were discussing stuff about liberty and rights. Uh, now, after I saw his name again in the list of um, what was it? possible suggestions for the speech, I thought I would look into it a bit more because I only heard slight information about him. Now, I found this topic to be very interesting, so I figured I'd share with you guys. I cross-referenced a lot of different sources to make sure that the information all lined up. And here's what I found. Edward, um, actually first, the reason why I want to share this information with you guys is because I believe that Edward Snowden is an important figure um, in exposing the recent uh, government activities. Okay, first I will tell you about how Snowden got into the NSA. Then I will tell you about the events leading to him leaving the NSA. And finally, I'm going to tell you what happened to him after the U.S. put out an order to extradite him and where he sought refuge. All right. Now, how did Snowden get into the NSA in the first place? According to the website biography.com, May 7, 2014, in the article Edward Joseph Snowden's biography, Edward Snowden landed a security job in the NSA and moved up to an information technology job with the CIA. He left work in 2009 to work for a private contractor, including Dell and Booz Allen Hamilton. They were, tech, they were a tech consulting firm. Now Snowden then worked as a subcontractor for the NSA, and that's how he actually got into the NSA. Now, why did Snowden leave the NSA after you know only arriving there? According to David E. Sander and Eric Schmidt, writers for the uh, New York Times, in February 8, 2014, uh, and Snowden used lost, this is the name of the article by the way, Snowden used low cost tools to best the NSA. Snowden learned that uh, the true culture of the NSA, and by the culture, they were referring to the fact that the NSA was spying on citizens using uh, phone calls and the internet. After learning about this, Snowden started copying secret files from work and planned to expose the government. Snowden asked his supervisors for what was it? Oh, a leave of absence. And then he flew to Hong Kong where he spent the first couple of days while he was uh, exposing the files. He gave the files to a journalist in Hong Kong and with this, his fate sealed. Now the only question was, what would he do next? Okay, after Snowden's falling out with the NSA, he had to look for refuge in a different country. After leaving the information about the government, the U.S. government charged Snowden with theft of government property, unauthorized communication of national defense information, and willful communication of classified intelligence with an unauthorized person. Snowden then left Hong Kong to Russia, who denied the U.S. Uh, re the request to extradite Snowden. Snowden stayed in Russia while he was deciding where to seek asylum, but then the U.S. annulled his passport, so he was sort of stuck in Moscow. So Snowden ended up deciding to just stay in Moscow and, you know, probably uh, sign up for citizenship. All right. So in conclusion, Edward Snowden is an important figure in the exposure of the recent <coughs> government activities. All right. So first I told you about how he actually got into the NSA. Then I told you about why he left the NSA. Then I told you about where he went, which was Hong Kong. And then, if I believe, Russia's this way. All right. So, that's actually what I just uh, told you about. And then, uh, some people think that he should be pardoned. Others think that he should pay for his crime. But all of that's just a matter of opinion, which I don't actually have, because this is only an informational speech for you guys. Um, now, according to CNN, uh, on June 9, 2013, 2013, the reason Snowden leaked the information was to clear his conscience. So this isn't just a speculation that I made. It was actually an interview. Now, whether you believe this is a criminal or a hero, it is important to remember that this man gave up the good life, it was a six-digit uh, salary, for what he thought was right. I want to close this quote from Snowden, uh, no, I want to close with a quote from Snowden according to the same New York Times article as before. He stated, 
It's ironic that the officials are giving classified information to, journals, to journalists in an effort to discredit me for me giving classified information to journalists. The difference is I did it so to inform the public about the government's actions, and they're doing it to misinform the public about mine. And that's it.